It's Christmas. No, it's not Christmas. Hi! It's Christmas. The whole family here. Hi, it's Christmas. So, <laughs> it's a lazy uh, Tuesday. So, you guys want to go to Bargain Hunt? Yes. Yeah. Will? No. I think Mom's going to take a nap. Susie, you look so beautiful for being too lazy. To bargain how they go. Something, something about vlogs I need to just make clear. I don't actually have tons of uh, views, you know, at this view of the telephone pole, my neighbor. I use a lot of the same shots, including the driving one, and I want to get a little bit more creative. So I'm just gonna cut that out. We're just gonna take the shortcut. Ah, gosh, isn't that nice? And look where I'm at. Guys, I think I. Oh no. Forgot my wallet. Alright. Let's make this quick. Gotta go back home and get my wallet. Alright. I'm home. I gotta find my wallet. Wallet. My biggest pet peeve is losing items that I need. Car keys, wallet, pants, whatever. I hate having to find things in my own home. Oh, I know where it's at. Uh, here. No. Wait, where am I? Here. Duh. Got it. Back to Bargain Hut. All right, you guys ready to go fast? There we go. Ugh. Wow. All right, guys, we made it. Finally, we're here. Every time we come to Bargain Hut, me and my kids watch soccer. It's probably the only time I watch soccer. It's kind of fun. Alright, you two kids. Where to next? Push a ladder, buddy. Or take Taco ladder. Bell! Taco Bell? You just had lunch. Oh, it's going away. No! Oh, I hate losing sneezes. It's like the worst thing in the world. Hey, do you notice my mustache? I think it's pretty suave. <laughs> suave. <laughs> well, guys, there's only one thing left to do. There's one thing I'm addicted to more than Bargain Hunt. It's coffee. Any kind of coffee. Waffle House coffee. Coffee that you find at like Ace Hardware's for free. Any kind of coffee. I love it. I'm addicted. It's as simple as that. I'm pretty sure this is my fourth cup of coffee today. And it's 4.43. It's just like coffee lot, man. It's not like, it's not bad. It's not bad for me, man. I just need some, you know? The only difference between my bargain hunt addiction and my coffee addiction is that my coffee addiction is excused because everyone's addicted to coffee. I mean, look. It's the only drug, like the only like substance that really affects the brain that's really legal. Well, caffeine is. Caffeine is a drug. Got to get a tall, flat white and two like little cups of whipped cream for my kids in the back. I worked at Starbucks for an entire year. It was my second job. My first job, I sold insurance like door to door. I was a door to door insurance guy. And the thing was, it wasn't like I was selling insurance. I was just signing people up for free government insurance. It was it, it was weird. But Starbucks was one of the most fun times. I was 18 years old. It was my first real solid job. At the time, coffee was just becoming cool. So I was like, on the, I was the cool kid. I was kind of, you know, on the cool job. My first six months of working, I worked at the Georgia World Congress Center. The Starbucks I used to work at doesn't exist anymore. If you know anything about the Georgia World Congress Center, it's between buildings A and B. I don't know what's there anymore. And then I transferred over to do corporate, because I was a franchise at Starbucks, and they hardly do franchises, but whatever. So I went to a corporate Starbucks, and there I worked with a man named Victor. I worked there for about one month. I puked my brains out one day because I mixed bleach and some other cleaning chemical. I didn't know you couldn't do, I didn't know. I mean, who tells you, who tells you you can't do this stuff? You you learn this stuff as you age. 
I think. And then I transferred. I transferred to Ackworth. That's when I first moved out of my parents' house, moved in with my brother Jeremy in his new house, and I became a supervisor within like, pff, really quick, it was awesome. Jessica was my boss. Jessica ended up marrying who is now, and has been for the last few years, one of my very closest friends. Brandon Wilson. Brandon Wilson was the best man in my wedding. We're pretty good friends. And after six months of being a supervisor at that store, I called it quits. I did exactly what I'm doing now, which now I'm a pastor at the Atlanta Dream Center. One of the coolest jobs ever. I work with inner city teens. I work with rich people, poor people. I work with mentally disabled. I work with people who have AIDS. I, I, I kind of work with everybody. Every race, every, every social class, every situation. And my job is to present the gospel. I get paid less yearly than I would have after one year working Starbucks. But my job now is a way better reward. I can't believe it. I'm so honored. So, in this vlog, I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for me. Hope you're watching this. <laughs>